I must admit that it's quite hard to describe this feeling of serving such a comic zoo-like bird in the wild. So far I haven't experienced anything like this. These not hornbirds are huge birds with a very colorful head that might send you back to the Jurassic period. Have a look at this marvelous male regurgitating little figs to feed his female partner that is still in the nest hole with her egg or chick. This tree must have been created for this majestic residence. A male can be perched nicer to feed his family. But this job can be very tiring as well, especially in the heat of the day, so time to rest a bit. These large birds measure 70 to 80 centimeter in length of males that weigh up to 2.5 kilogram. If you have a look at a bird photo online, it never tells you much about its possible moves or sounds, but on this day crossing this forest I always heard these hornbills approaching by their loud wing sounds in flight. These hornbills have an incubation time of about 35 to 40 days and to protect herself and her only valuable egg during the long incubation time, hornbills developed a unique technique to seal themselves in their nest hole during the incubation time, which the females do so with their own faces, which they stick and patch around the nest hole entrance. Females remain sealed in their nest for an average of 108 days and their chicks fledge 20 days after. Knobbed hornbills are endemic to Sulawesi and its satellite islands Lembe, Tokian, Muna and Butung. Here in the protected area of the Tangoko Reserve quite a healthy number of these hornbills are still found. One study showed that in areas with many fig trees, 10 pairs nests per square kilometer could be found. In non-breeding season, even up to 51 birds were found in a group foraging. They favor red figs. Figs are making up to 69% of the diet provided by the males feeding his partner and chick. They are important seed dispersers because they are mainly frugivorous. Only 1% of the diet seems to consist of animal food, inclusive insects, bird eggs and nestlings. That's one more difference between the hornbills and their similar looking relatives occurring in Latin America, the toucans. These birds are, like most of their family relatives, threatened by habitat loss, as they depend on large old major trees for nesting and lots of figs to feed on. Due to ongoing human population growth on Sulawesi and poor management of their nature reserves, logging of especially tall trees continues and these hornbills are still captured to be kept as pets, as well as shot in some regions to wear their cask and knobbed horns as a jewelry with traditional clothes. So these endemic dinos are listed as vulnerable and under Cetus too, but can their statues save them from human future generations' impact? These birds can get tame when not hunted and visit human settlements for fruiting trees. 
isn't it actually much better to see them in your own garden instead of seeing them in an imprisoned life or wearing them around your neck? I definitely think so and really wish we could do all our best we can to not fully destroy the habitat of these treasures which I could watch for many days and not get it.